Mrs. de Indierno, Cold Months of Winter by Rosalia de Castro Biography In February of 1837, Rosalia de Castro was born in Santiago de Compostela, Spain. She married Manuel Murguia in 1858. Rosalia wrote many books, but her most famous publications came in the form of poetry in books titled Galician Songs and New Medleys. Her poems are about Galician people's lives, lifestyles, and their thoughts. Her style of poetry changed in 1867 to reflect her own self rather than the people of her country. On July 15, 1885, she died in a town close to where she was born from cancer when she was 48. Mrs. Frios de Invierno, que yo amo con todo mi amor. Cold months of winter that I love with all my love. Mrs. de Rios, que corren completa, y el dulce amor de casa. Months of rivers that run full and the sweet love of fun. Mrs. de Tormentos Salvajes Imagen del Dolor. One to watch the edge of the pain. Que acosa a los jóvenes y corta vida en flor. That percepts the young and severs lives in bloom. Venga, después del otoño, eso hace que las hojas se caen. Come, after the autumn, that makes the leaves fall. Y déjame dormir entre ellos el sueño de la disolución, and let me sleep among them the slumber of dissolution. Y cuando el sol encantadora de abril vuelve sonriendo, and when the lovely sun of April returns smiling. Deja que brille en mi reposo, Ya no está en mi sufrimiento. Let it shine upon my repose, no longer upon my suffering. Translation by Eduardo Fuere Canosa. Guiding questions. What may the changing of seasons symbolize in the speaker's life? Where did the shift occur? What is something that was personified in this poem? What do the lines... Let it shine upon my repose, no longer upon my suffering mean. How does the narrator feel about death? 